Rogers Avenue in East Fort Smith, not seeing that kind of rainfall, Matt, although we do have a better chance of rain than we have seen over the last couple of days, especially in northwest Arkansas coming in. That's right. Our rain chances do increase later this week. Uh, the first story is the heat that's about to build and then the rainfall that's going to come in and help knock down the heat. So mini heat wave for the next couple of days. I think Wednesday is going to be the hottest day. Tomorrow our heat index values are likely to get right next to 100. And then Wednesday, it's going to feel like it's definitely over 100, maybe even 105, 107. Uh, when you factor in the extra humidity, especially in the River Valley, where we got most of the rain throughout this weekend. And then later this week, we're going to watch temperatures fall as rain chances start to go up because those extra clouds will be able to cool off a little bit. But hopefully we get some much more needed rainfall. Right now we're dry. We have a lot of sun across five country. More storms off towards the west. More storms are going to be developing the next couple of hours, but then they're going to move to the south and east over time. Some of them could try to clip parts of western Arkansas and eastern Oklahoma early tomorrow morning between 6 to 10. Not everyone's going to get a shower, but there will be at least a small chance these bands continue to weaken as they, they drop towards us. So something to watch early tomorrow morning. Check with meteorologist Zach Scott. He'll show you what the radar looks like. He'll see where they're they're dissipating, where they're holding on for dear life. Uh, we'll get that to you tomorrow morning. Right now, we're in the 80s in northwest Arkansas. We'll follow the 70s here by 9 o'clock. In the River Valley, we have some low 90s and some upper 80s. Fort Smith, we're right there at 89. Uh, we're going to head to the low 80s by 9 o'clock and then we'll fall to the 70s after 10 o'clock. So tomorrow morning waking up headed out the door. Even if you don't get rain, you're probably going to be more partly cloudy because of some showers off towards our west, maybe clipping Salisaw and Poto. Watch out for a stray shower temperatures in the 60s and 70s. This is another way to look at where the rain is likely to fall. Better chances in central Oklahoma will be right on the edge of some of these showers coming into Sequoia and LaFleur, maybe even clipping parts of Sebastian or Scott County. And then just a general 20% chance just to watch at the very outer edge tries to come towards US 71 or I-49, maybe even clipping Fort Smith, Van Buren. Tomorrow afternoon, though, all the clouds break up. We're mostly sunny. We head into the low 90s. It's going to be hot for your Tuesday and then even hotter for Wednesday. But let's take a look at the heat and those rain chances coming up for the next 24 hours. Tonight, I think we're mostly dry, but then you're going to be watching these scattered showers and storms. Probably not severe at all. Moving southeast over time. Notice how maybe some of the leftovers get at us, but you know the drill goes. They weaken as they get to the state line. So we'll see how much they can push across the state line. Uh, but watch, watch out for that small rain chance Tuesday morning. And then I think we look pretty good the rest of the day. What you're seeing, the little green blob kind of everywhere. It's just the intense humidity that's going to be coming in. South wind plus even more heat means the heat index is going to go through the roof. I think by Wednesday we're in that alert category. It's going to feel like between 105 to 110, but then it drops later in the week as rain chances start to return. In fact, we've got good rain chances Friday and into the weekend as the jet stream starts to move back south and it's going to sit right over us. But for the next couple of days, the jet stream's farther north, allowing the heat to move farther north too. We're headed to the mid 90s for your Wednesday and Thursday across northwest Arkansas. Average highs this time of year, upper 80s. In the River Valley, we should be in the mid 90s. We're headed to upper 90s. Some of us could even flirt with 100 degrees for the actual air temperature by the middle of the week. That's just not supposed to well, yeah. no i guess it is but still <laughs> it's coming back well we had a break the past couple of days uh, it wasn't did. terrible we just got used but to it you got used to it yeah. it was yeah. so nice I mean, again this morning high 70s loved it Beautiful. and want that every day right yeah. thanks matt all right we're just a few clicks away from amazon prime day how you can get the best deals next